Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King's Fair channel. So in this video, I will show you the Archer build in Ragnarok Rebirth. If you come to know me and this channel from ROX, you probably know that I am eager to try out new things, especially on the unconventional part of the game. And for Ragnarok Rebirth specifically, although it resembles a lot to our beloved game ROX, it also different at the same time. One thing that is different is that in ROR, the penetration and crit damage stat can affect each other. Both stats can increase the attack damage, and also the skill damage in ROR can crit. So in the end, there's no crit build or penetration build in ROR like in ROX. So it comes to what playstyle you want to play. You get what I mean? So for Archer, how many playstyles or build does the archer has in Ragnarok Rebirth, right? So the first thing that I like to do when start making a build is to look at, at the game default build, how the game actually wants the job class to be played. So for that, in ROR, you can look at the possible build for that job class at the attribute points allocation page. Here it has the recommended attribute points distribution. Tap on it and here it lists out three builds or playstyle for the archer, which given the name shoot trap and falcon the shoot build is for idle or i think for other game it should be for afk farming in ror this is suitable for the auto exploration the trap build is stated for dungeon and the falcon build is for pk or in other words for pvp let's look at more detail on this build for the shoot build the stats allocation is distributed to three different stats strength ag and luck. In ROR, different than the other Ragnarok game, the strength is the main stat that increase the archer physical attack, not dex. AG is for attack speed and luck is for the crit stat to deal crit damage. So from the way the stat points were distributed, this is a ratio of 3, 4, and 2 for strength, AG, and luck. For trap build, it is a balance of 1 to 1 ratio between strength and Dex. Dex is for the hast stat, which is needed to reduce the skill cooldown. And correct me if I'm wrong, but from this, it looks like the trap skill get damage from strength, not int or ag. I myself haven't tested it yet, so do let me know in the comment below if you had tested the trap skill damage. What stats affect the trap damage? And the last one, the falcon bill is also a ratio of 1 to 1 but for strength and AG. This is also a weird one. The Falcon in ROR is actually get its damage from the AG stat, not the INT stat like other Ragnarok game. And looks like there is no luck stat allocated, which you know what this imply? The luck stat may not affect the Falcon chance to attack. Now there's a lot more that the players do not know yet in this game, so take it with a grain of salt. More has needed to be done. Alright, after knowing that, how you should build your archer. In ROR, similar to ROX, there are at least two types of weapons to choose. For archer, there is the long bow and short bow weapon. Depending on the weapon you choose, it will ultimately determine your playstyle. What do I mean by that? So the long bow has attack speed stat, and the short bow has the fast or haste stat. Fast or haste is a stat that affects your skill cooldown duration. The higher the fast stat that you have, the more you can reduce the skill rival cooldown and the faster you can cast your skill. So from this, the long bow will be categorized in the shoot and falcon build and the short bow will be for the trap build or skill type in general. For long bow weapon archer, you want to utilize the attack speed stat that the long bow has and further increase your attack speed and 
and for that, for early build, you should choose to use the accessories and talisman that increase your attack speed as you have better enhanced and refined progress on the weapon and have higher attack speed later on. You can then start to change the accessory and talisman for the crit stat to start having crit damage in your attack for longbow weapon falcon build archer since it has the same playstyle as the shoot build just that it deals more damage with the falcon attack. The equipment build is actually similar to the shoot build. You can first get the attack speed accessories and talisman in the early game and from what I was told the falcon attack in ROR can crit so as you level up and have more attack speed you can also consider to change the accessory and talisman to crit stat to start dealing crit damage with your falcon attack for short bow weapon user it has fast stat instead of attack speed since this build will be focusing on using skill to deal damage you want to lower down your skill cooldown as much as you can for that you should use the hast accessory and talisman now the archer has other active skills too other than the trap skill like the double strafe skill arrow shower and arrow repel skill and since the trap according to the game default playstyle get damage from the strength stat the short bow user can also use these skills to deal damage next moving on to the skill build for longbow fast attacking crit damage build in the early stage where you don't have high attack speed yet you have no choice but to rely on the skill to deal damage so max out the double strafe arrow shower and arrow repel skill after that choose one of your desired elemental arrow skill my personal favorite is the holy arrow mainly because it has effect to increase 20% damage of your attack second favorite is actually the earth or stone arrow because of the physical defense reduction effect but it has only two seconds effect so you actually need to have fast attack or very low skill cooldown to continuously trigger the skill effect and the fire arrow burn effect is also nice too after allocating 40 skill points on the archer skill you can then use the hunter skill set for hunter skill you want to max out the attention concentration and beast ban skill and that's it you may want to rely on the focus shot skill at early stage to increase your damage further but as you have higher attack speed later on you won't be needing it as much anymore and you also might want to utilize the blitz beat skill for the aided attack speed stat but this skill has 15 seconds cooldown and the skill effect is 8 seconds so to constantly have the attack speed bonus you need to have has to lower down the skill cooldown duration right next for the falcon build since you will rely exclusively on the falcon attack for damage and not so much on your arrow and also because the falcon damage scale with the ag stat and not strength you actually will not need the double strafe arrow shower and arrow repel skill or rather it will give you no benefit at all what you want to get for archer skill is the earth or stone arrow this will lower down the target physical defense and that will make the falcon to deal more damage the holy arrow might be okay too since it can increase your damage but i'm not sure if that includes the falcon attack as well that needs further testing for hunter skill you want to get the attention concentration and beast bane skill and also all of the falcon skills the falconry mastery blitz beat and the steel crow skill moving on to the short bow weapon user for short bow you can basically use almost all of the archer and hunter skills if the trap build start points allocation is true if the trap damage get from the strength stat then the short bow can use both arrow skills and trap skill to deal damage there's no need to separate these two play styles for the short bow but because of the limited skill points that you have you ultimately need to make two separate build loadouts or options one is for the arrow skill only build and the other one is for trap skill only for trap exclusive build you should get the trap skill depending on the target that you are attacking you want to use the element advantage to deal higher damage for arrow skill build you can get the double strafe arrow shower and arrow repel arrow skills and one of 
of the elemental arrow of your choice. I've given you my preferred option earlier on. For the hunter skill, there is only one arrow damage skill, the focus shot skill. Well, you also want the attention concentration and beast bane skill as well, alright? So that are the three or actually four builds if you separate the short bow weapon build to arrow and trap build for the archer. What weapon and build you are interested to try and use? Let me know at the comment below. That's it for this video. This time video shout out goes to... Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.